what we've done is merge an F1 car with a racing drone and turned it into something completely new. Goodwood, that's going to be the big milestone. We are moving to circuit racing. There is no track, there is no sport, there is no infrastructure. Every time we crash, we learn. Pilots are coming up who want to take the next progression. Overtaking left, my man. The main constraint was to make it look as iconic as possible. This is all very real now. After deciding that the airspeeder story was not over, a new headquarters was established in Adelaide, South Australia. The goal of the team was to create the Airspeeder Mark III, a sophisticated, remotely piloted aircraft with multiple safety systems focused on racing. Their first goal was an upcoming drag race with circuit racing and crew Mark IV as future key goals. The purpose of the Mark III program is it's actually the first time where we're flying a full-scale design. Everything up until now has been scale size. So this is a one-to-one uh, -one airspeed capable of lifting 150 plus kilos. That's going to lead into the Mark IV, which is the manned flight program. I think we've got a really young, exuberant team. Everybody's really uh, excited about what they're doing. The, the way everybody gets into it, you give them their tasks, you explain to them the necessity of that task, and everybody really pulls in the same direction. It's a great little team to have. The Mark III is all carbon fibre based, um, all built around reliability and resilience um, and having a, a whole lot of redundant systems in there. We're making the increased use of uh, simulation, hardware in the loop, and also formal integration testing to ensure that we're delivering ever increasing levels of safety. Airspeeder is the race to create the ultimate flying car. That race, we want it to be motorsport in the sky. In multiple vehicles starting together in the air at the same time. The Mark III is our first full-scale design and we're incredibly excited to show the world its first look at the Mark III and what Airspeeder is going to look like. I wanted to show the world a glimpse of the future. I wanted to show what, what a flying race car would actually look like. I wanted it to be something that embodied the best of, of the past, but the most hopeful vision of the future as well. The moment I saw Felix's portfolio, I, I just knew it was exactly what we were looking for. This blend of the golden age of motorsport and aviation with the, the future. And that's ultimately what we, what we want here, is to show something that is a little bit familiar People go, I, I recognize those shapes. That's something that we've fallen in love with before, and now we get to fall in love all over again. So that's what Felix has brought to the Mark III. This is about love. It's about falling in love with the, the future. The engineering team has been focusing on everything, basically, for the, for the Mark III uh, to make it fly. Very close to make it happen. Just a bit more work, and, and we're finally flying the Mark III. I've been working with the engineers to make sure that the, the final shape of the speeder is going to match the, the design that we've been working on for such a long time. The team realized the need to have pilots for the Mark III, separate from engineers, to extract the maximum performance and compete with the vehicle. Turning ignition switches on. Saving telemetry data for ESCs. Ignition one. As the flight testing of the Mark III begins at the Salt Lake, the team had less than six months before the drag race. And success at this first test after all the development and testing was critical to stay on schedule. They flew unbelievably well, really happy with it. The system's performing how we expected it. We're not getting any overheating issues. The batteries, which are a new implementation, are going really well. 
it's fantastic having the data that we've always wanted. You know, we're able to check everything so closely. So we got a lot of confidence from today. We can see the achievements of our endeavors to see the machine in the skies is a thrill for everybody. We're all looking forward to racing and uh, that's what it's all about. So we're using this to really push the envelope of what we want to achieve in the race series. And then we're going to lead into the Mark IV MAN program. So we're going to start validating all of the different safety features on the Mark III, introducing LiDAR, radar and machine vision to form a collision avoidance systems where we're going to create a virtual force field over the vehicle to keep the pilot safe, but also allow really close quarter motorsport action. The team headed out to a testing field in Snowtown with two Mark III speeders, with nervous excitement at finally seeing a glimpse of the future. <laughs> 